going on guys welcome back to another video my name is Ron and this is MotorTube I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today we are going to be comparing the new wide body Hellcat versus the non wide body Hellcat there are a few similarities but there are a lot of differences and in today's video I'm going to walk you guys through all of those so here we got both of the Hellcats we got a 2020 Charger Hellcat wide body and a 2018 Charger Hellcat 9 wide body so let's start out with the similarities so obviously it's the same hood so the same hood on the 2020 is the same one from the 2018, 2017, 2016, and 2015. So another thing is they both come with these Brembo six piston brakes. Comes on both of them. Let me show you guys the one on here. So here they're just black. He could have got them in orange, red, or I think silver. Before they used to only offer them in red. With the new ones, they come with a bunch of different colors. It's simply an option that you'll just have to go pick. Another similarity can be found in here, and that is the leather seats. These are the Laguna leather seats. They're in black, they come with red and tan, and he got the black ones. And the nine wide body has the same Laguna leather seats, except they're in red, as you can see right here. Laguna premium leather. Let me show you guys the back seats as well more of this beautiful Laguna leather. They also come with the same steering wheel, this beautiful leather steering wheel with white stitching, flat bottom. Now, obviously with the new ones, you can get a full Alcantara steering wheel with the flat bottom. So now let's talk about a few of the differences. It's actually a lot, not just a few differences. The first thing you can notice is that the wide body is obviously a lot wider. They do come with 3.5 inch fenders. So it is 3.5 inches wider than the non wide body. The wheels are also a lot wider on the wide bodies. They are 20 by 11 inch wide with 305s all around. The tires are pretty wide. They are Pirelli's, not the best tires you can put on them, but the non wide body comes with 20 by nine and a half inch wide wheels. 275s all around on the non wide body. The wheel style is also a lot different. These are the five spoke, so they come with these in black. They have the gunmetal gray, and they have the ones with a bunch of spokes. On the wide body, they come with these. I think they also have another design. I like these a lot better. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys like the style on these? or the brass monkeys on the newer wide body Hellcat. Also the springs on the wide body are a lot stiffer than the non wide body, 32% stiffer than the non wide body Hellcat. And it also has a larger sway bar than the nine wide body, two millimeters on the front and three millimeters on the back. So the keys to the Hellcats are both the same. On the right, we got the wide body Hellcat and the non wide body Hellcat. They both have 707 horsepower. So these are the keys. You want the red key that will pretty much give you all 707 horsepower. If you guys didn't know, the Hellcats come with two keys. Well, three keys. You get two red keys and a black key. Usually most Hellcat owners do not carry the black key. The black key is only 500 horsepower and then with the red keys right here, it gives you all 707 horsepower. So let's step in the wide body real quick. I wanna show you guys a few little details you guys might not know about. So, the headliner. There's an option to get it in full Alcantara. And then also here, all Alcantara, beautiful material. And then you come around here, all carbon fiber, real carbon fiber. It's a package that you can get and that, you know, you get the full carbon fiber here and then here. Sorry for the sun. It's messing with my video. Oh boy. All right. So full carbon fiber all over the dash where the non wide body comes with some plastic. Also the 2020s, they offer the dash in leather. It's all leather where the non wide body Hellcat uh, from the years before, they used to come with just plastic, literally plastic. Now it's in full leather. So pretty much everything is leather in here, except actually even here is leather. All here is leather. Yeah, look at that. It's leather. Leather, carbon fiber, it's pretty cool. Let's check out the entertainment system here real quick. All right. Let's try to focus. Sorry, the sun is literally messing with my video today. Let's close the door. All right, 
so let's talk about a few things. We go to controls, let's turn the AC down. So you got heated vented seats, heated wheel, all that. Both Hellcats have it. Oh boy, the camera is uh, playing mind games. All right, so let's go to apps. Let's go to SRT mode. So let's go to race options. So another cool thing that this has that the non wide body does not have is this has the line lock and it has the race cooldown. So the race cooldown, basically it uses the AC unit and the fans obviously to cool the car down while the car is turned off. And also it will trigger if you put the car in track mode, kind of the same thing as a Dodge Demon. So this was an option first introduced in the Dodge Demon and now they have it in you know the wide body Hellcats and I believe the Challengers as well. The other Hellcat has the launch control and the shift light, but doesn't have the line lock and the race cooldown. Let's check a few things out. They both have all these options. Valet, Eco Mode, comes with both. Let's check the dash. So it has the dashboard where it looks a lot different than the other Hellcat. You have your driver mode right here, race option, launch control. Got a lot of cool things here and you know, to get the race cooldown, you must have your engine off, your hood is closed, battery good. So a few things you need before you could trigger that. So that's that right here. Same dash, both Hellcats have the same red gauges. Um, really not too many differences in here. They both feel the same, same amount of space, leg room, same leather material in both, except even here is leather where the non wide body over there has plastic. So let's go in that car actually. I'm gonna show you guys the differences in this car because it's it's the little details and you know, it matters to some people. So like I said, it has the Red Laguna leather in here and here, you see it's plastic. This is plastic and it was leather in that one. So it's leather here, leather here and then plastic where it was leather in the other car. So let's jump in here. See, no carbon fiber. It's simply like this fake wannabe carbon fiber. It's like plastic. So that's another difference. This, the whole dash is plastic. It's not leather. All right here, it's plastic. In the other car, it was leather. Same steering wheel. Let's check out the entertainment system. Again, same dash, both red. Let's close the door. So we go to SRT mode. Again, same things, just different, you know, fonts, different styles. They changed it up a little bit. You go to race option, you only have launch control and shift light. So you don't have the race cooldown, you don't have all the other cool stuff. You do have valet and eco in both, but that's pretty much about the same as both cars. Let's uh, get out of here. Again, this is, I don't even know what material it is. It's like some cloth material, not Alcantara. The other one has the Alcantara, this doesn't. Again, just like, it feels cheap. So they definitely put a lot more attention to detail in this car than they did with this one. Like I said, it's just the little stuff, like the little Alcantara, the carbon fiber. You know, Dodge sometimes don't pay attention to that because they think they just throw a big motor, 700 horsepower, and the rest doesn't matter. Well, people want everything. When you're paying $80,000 for these cars, you kinda want more than just the power. So that's why this one is a lot more improved than this one. Another thing I wanna mention is the weight of these two cars. So the wide body is 4,554 pounds and the non wide body is 4,530 pounds. I know people think this is a lot heavier than this, but it's literally almost the same way. It does look a lot heavier because of how fat and how wide it is, but it does perform a little slower than this up top. And I'll tell you guys why. So the top speed of the wide body is 196 and this is 204. So it is obviously eight miles per hour slower. And the reason for that is because of the drag from the wheels and tires and the fenders. So a couple more cool stats about these two cars is the wide body does the zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds. 
quarter mile time happens in 10.96 at 124 miles per hour where the non-wide body does zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds and quarter mile time in 11.2 seconds at 126. So as you guys can see, the mile per hour on this is a lot higher. Well, not a lot, just two miles per hour higher. Again, it's because of the drag from the fenders and the tires, it definitely slows it up top. Although I've seen the non-wide body go at 10.7 in the quarter mile time with some drag radials. So drag radials will obviously make both of these cars a lot faster. The tires that they come with are Pirelli's. Now they are obviously a lot wider on here. Maybe that's why it's a little faster than this, but it doesn't matter how wide they are. They're Pirelli's, they're tires they don't get that warm with a burnout you really need to put something like Nittos or Mickey Thompson something like that just for it to hook when you're going down the track so now let's turn both of them on I got the keys to both of them let's start with the wide body they're both stock exhaust so let's see how they sound also another thing I almost forgot to point out is the badges so the badges on this house okay, let's turn it off are in black not silver so they're black here black here black here and black as well over here so actually they're not black they're like actually they're the same color as the wheels that's weird they're like brass monkey another thing is the older hellcats they used to just come with this you know hellcat symbol obviously they're customized on this one but it is the same design has this backing right here where on the wide bodies they are literally just a cutout of the cat so it looks a lot better and it's definitely an improvement over those right there but now let's turn on the non wide body hellcat Um, I think uh, the owner might have uh, done a little bit of modification to the car. I thought they were both stock, but I can't really compare the exhaust now because one of them is modified. But I'm pretty sure they sound just about the same. But we are coming to the end of today's video. I was really, really excited about getting my hands on these two cars because a lot of people always wonder and ask me, yo, what should I get? The non-wide body or the wide body? What are the differences, you know, between the 18 and 19s or the 2020s? So I just decided to make the video that pretty much has all the info you guys need, all the performance infos, all the little details in both cars. So I hope you guys, you know, learned something. And if you didn't, or if I missed something, let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it, you know, just to help anybody that's watching this video that maybe I forgot to mention something. So let me know in the comments below if I did. But with that being said, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm so tired of talking and standing in front of the sun. If you guys like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, smash that subscribe button. Turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with the videos and be part of the family. The next video, we are gonna be racing them. A lot of people are curious. Who do you think is gonna win between these two? Let me know in the comments below. I will have a video after this, hopefully, of the race. You guys are gonna definitely want to see that. So peace out and I'll see you guys in the next one.